So we're on our way to Helsinki, uh, just for about 24 hours. Uh, before leaving though, we posted on our Facebook page and asked what are the most interesting, weird and wonderful saunas that we should go visit while we're here. And we've got loads of great suggestions, so we're going to go visit as uh, many as we can in uh, less than 24 hours and, and show you what they're like. Tallinn and Helsinki are two hours apart by ferry, which usually costs about 25 euros for a same day return. In fact, visiting Tallinn is often listed as one of the top things to do for visitors to Helsinki, but we're doing it the other way around. As you can see, the sea is already freezing over here, uh, but the first place we're gonna go is Alice Sea Pools, which was recommended to us, and it is right over here. Uh, you can just see some half-naked people already uh, uh, jumping in the seawater. This place used to be a boat terminal but was completed as a spa in Lido in 2016 with a cafe and event space too. It has these gender separated saunas as well as a mixed sauna and one outdoor pool heated year round to 27 degrees as well as one left at sea temperature. Just had a great sauna and now whoa, I'm going to go to the pools, so it's a bit slippery here. Well, I definitely recommend coming here. So what the hell are you both doing uh, <laughs> in Finland in this weather? It's a very, very good, yeah, very good question. Very good question. Uh, I was just here to yeah, see the exper city. Experiencing it, but uh, the weather's not really, well, it's colder than we expected. It's perfect with the sauna. Yeah, yeah. yeah this so, what do you think of the sauna in here? <clears throat> it's good. It's yeah. good? It's not as hot as I expected, but yeah. it's good. It's a, something you don't want a too big contrast if you're going to be going outside, especially into the seawater. It'll yeah, be yeah. quite dangerous. Oh, uh, really? It's, oh, yeah. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a nice kind of mildish temperature. There's a few Brits around here today. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, definitely. It's quite a shock for them. Yeah, so I'm from Tallinn myself, uh, if they question, and I moved to uh, London when I was uh, seven years old, so I've been there for nearly 20 years now. Cool. And you brought the Brits over just uh, for it? Yeah, we were actually planning to go to Morocco, but that got cancelled because of Covid. It's a very different choice. Oh yes, but they wanted to come and see Tallinn and Helsinki. The Finnish saunas are definitely something else. Yeah. And the ice ice pool is uh, definitely worth a, worth you, a visit. Have you been in the ice? Yeah. Okay, uh, how is it? What, what kind of temperature is it? Cold. <laughs> very cold. Yeah. But uh, uh, but if you run back into the sauna, it's, it's actually really, really nice. Okay, I'm going to go do it. Yes, <laughs> good luck. Cool, thank you. It is so cold, I'm going straight back to the sauna. Okay, our next recommendation is Lerlu. That's the Finnish word for lail or sauna steam. We're heading to a former industrial zone that the city of Helsinki sought to regenerate by inviting ambitious proposals for a sauna that could serve both future residents and tourists. Uh, things didn't start well though. The first company quit the project when they realized their plans were financially unviable. A second company opted for a floating sauna but then quit the project when they realized it couldn't withstand the rough sea and packed ice. Finally, a Finnish actor and a member of parliament joined forces, acquired the funding needed to continue with the project, and were finally able to complete construction of this luxury sauna establishment, now named Lulu, in 2016. The design of Lulu is really quite stunning. The first part you'll notice when approaching is the outer cloak made from sustainably sourced wood. This will eventually fade to grey and provide the appearance of jagged rocks. These wooden slabs don't just look good, they provide Lulu's exterior with steps and seating while providing the interior with privacy and protection from the elements. It also creates coves where bathers can cool off. Beneath the cloak, Lulu is a rectangular block made from black concrete, glass and birch wood. The cloak provides the effect of Venetian blinds and fireplaces inside in addition to the saunas, make it incredibly cosy. 
The sauna area makes up about half of Lulu, while the other side is a restaurant and cocktail bar in the same style, serving organic food and sustainably caught fish. You can order drinks without leaving the sauna area, including anything from the bar next door, and then enjoy them in your bathing suit while sitting in the sauna lounge or outdoor terrace. There are now four saunas here. This large one in the centre has an enormous stove. And then this is a smoke sauna, heated overnight. And this is their newest sauna, out on the terrace, and it has a saunum stove. That's uh, Estonian sauna design and technology that we invested in, by the way. And finally, there's this private sauna. Saunas are considered holy places and are often referred to as being like churches. Um, and if that's the case, then uh, this place, Lulu, is like uh, the cathedral of saunas. Uh, it's so beautiful here. It's so well designed. Forget sand timers in the sauna and listen to your body. You know you've been in the sauna long enough when you can imagine nothing better than jumping into icy water. And that's exactly what we can do here. The sea today looks like a kind of giant slush puppy machine. If, like me, you remember those from your childhood. And it's time to go in. Ah, oh, it feels good. I'm going straight back in the sauna. Very good, very good food. Perhaps we spent a bit too long enjoying Lulu because there are a few saunas that we didn't get a chance to visit. One is Usi Sauna, which means new sauna. In fact, it's so new that it's still a construction site here on Google Earth, but it's a modern sauna establishment based on old fashioned sauna principles with a great bar. There are gender separated saunas and one private sauna you can book. We'll definitely come back and try it out next time. There's also Sauna Arla, which was founded all the way back in 1929, back when public saunas in Helsinki were being built for urbanising Finns, who were increasingly moving out of the countryside and into the city, but didn't have their own sauna facilities in their apartments. Sauna Arla also has gender-segregated saunas, with huge stoves boasting more than a thousand kilos of rocks, as well as distinctive metal wash basins. Uh, we'll try that next time too. Just getting to the end of an awesome time lapse, oh, no. and look who we find at yeah. the end of it. Perfect. <laughs> hey. How's it going? Yeah, good to see it's you. a small world, especially in this corner of it. This is my friend, also Adam, who also lives in Estonia, and he's visiting his friend Aaron, who lives in Finland. They're Americans, but speak good Estonian and good Finnish. In fact, Adam is a writer and poet, and also works as a translator from Estonian. So, who says these are difficult languages for outsiders to learn? As it happens, they both went last night to the next sauna on our list, Sompa Sauna, which is home to three free volunteer-run community saunas. How did uh, Sompa Sauna go yesterday? What do you think? I think it was pretty fantastic. The wind was pretty wild. It was whipping, whipping us around. There's some ice rain coming down. Yeah. So getting your clothes afterward was kind of a, 
kind of a fun experience, but uh, yeah, trying out three different saunas there, different kind of levels, different feels to each one of them, and then going in the sea. Yeah, it was nice. Yeah. And the good surprise was where jackets were covered in sleet after, so you could walk home yeah. from there. But though this experience was great, good steams. Yeah. Uh, they had excellent people managing the flames and steaming it. So, would return. Heard yeah. Estonian, heard English, heard the yeah. Met a few Americans Italian. too. You know? uh, yeah, I can't get away from it. Multinational. <laughs> right, on to Somper Sauna. Somper Sauna is located at the edge of a deserted dockland that has all the elegance and charm of a post-apocalyptic wasteland, yet it's probably one of our very favourite saunas to visit in Helsinki. The first Sompa Sauna was built without permission by volunteers, well, well, sauna activists maybe, and has become a much-loved part of the city. Their original location has since been developed, however, so they've moved on a bit further around the corner to land still undeveloped. Okay, this isn't great YouTube content for two reasons. Firstly, we arrived after dark and the lighting is wonderfully atmospheric, but not great for seeing anything on camera. Secondly, the saunas here are mixed gender and clothing optional, and we want to respect people's privacy. Um, if you do want to see Sompa Sauna in its full glory, then you know what to do. Come visit. There are three fantastic wood-burning saunas here, uh, maintained by volunteers who keep them heated round the clock. Uh, it's great customer service, uh, even though you don't, you don't even have to pay to get in. And you get a great mix of uh, locals and adventurers visitors here, so please uh, go check it out. Our final stop is Koti Haryun Sauna, built in 1928, and it's one of Helsinki's few remaining traditional public wood-fired saunas. Uh, you might have seen it pop up in photos before illustrating saunas in Helsinki, because it has a very iconic and very modern uh, sauna sign on the street, usually with bathers crowding around outside below while cooling off. So I'm here in the busy women's sauna right now, it's pretty great. I can even film. <laughs> the best way I can describe this sauna is that it's a bit like the British Houses of Parliament, like the House of Commons. It's really noisy, it's packed, there's like high tiered seating, there's even like a balcony looking down um, and everyone's loudly discussing issues of the day, politics. Uh, the guys next to me were discussing like how to solve the environmental crisis. Um, so yeah, it's just like a parliament, except everyone's naked. How is it? Good, very nice. Is it uh, just as busy in the women's? Uh, I'm the only one. Only one, okay. Uh, it's very busy in the men's. <laughs> The sauna bench is, or you call them, lava. Mm -hmm. It's very high up, so it's very even. You know, the two women are getting out there, were having their like a picnic out, out there, and enjoying their drinks and food. Mm -hmm. But they're they're leaving now. So where are we going next? To eat some ramen. Okay. Uh, perfect for after a sauna. 
lots of liquid, nice and salty, replenishes uh, lots of stuff you lost. And uh, fortunately, there's one just around the corner. Thank you to everyone who gave their recommendations. Here's all the saunas we mentioned and where to find out more. Uh, or perhaps I should say sauna. Uh, I know I'm going to get lots of complaints because I usually use the kind of uh, common English pronunciation, but of course it's sauna in uh, in Finnish. Um, and of course, there are so many more great saunas we haven't included. So let us know in the comments what you think of these ones and which ones you think we should visit on our next trip, uh, because we will be back to Helsinki and elsewhere in Finland. And thank you for watching. Uh, Annie and I export Estonian sauna design and technology through estoniansaunas.com. But we also spend a lot of time documenting saunas, uh, whether made with our technology or not. So you can follow Estonian at Estonian Saunas on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and here on YouTube. Uh, and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.